Hey everybody, Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. Um, I am gonna do just a short whip and chat um, before work. Uh, it is oh dark 30, uh, it's still dark outside. Um, just got up a little bit ago and um, I thought I'd just hop on just real quick and do just a quick whip and chat with, with you guys. So I've got my, my coffee. There's my coffee. And this is in my pretty, so I don't spill it. Um, it is a Pioneer Woman. I think I got it from a thrift store, but I know it came from Walmart. And um, I have got my pen that, which one is this one? Oh, this is my um, Diamond Art Club pen. I like it a lot. Four placer, single placer, and I am I am ready to go. We are going to be working on uh, some H's, which is this color here. It's kind of tanny color, letter H. So welcome. I'm so glad you guys are here. So um, grab a cup of coffee, cup of tea, soda, you know, whatever your beverage of choice is, maybe some good water. Um, and your favorite work in progress. And it doesn't have to be a diamond painting. If you are cross-stitching or if you are, um, oh, my mind just went blank. Uh, coloring or crocheting or whatever you're doing. Or maybe you're cleaning. Maybe you're doing a few chores that you need to get done today. Yeah, and just sit back and we'll just chat for a few minutes. Um, boy, does my house need some cleaning. I have not vacuumed for a few days, and you know, my dog sheds like crazy. And I gotta get her in to get her nails trimmed, too. I was thinking about that last night. Um, yeah, I need to get that done. Um... Okay, what are some of my random squirrel thoughts this morning? Because I have nothing scripted, nothing planned out. Oh, I do have good news, which is nice for a change, huh? We're going to have some good news. So my beautiful, beautiful um, family member that I love so much, she um, still, well, first of all, she's still waiting for test results um, from her... Um, from the pathology from her surgery to find out if she needs, um, if she will need chemo or not. Well, anyway, but the good news is though, is she had to have a, uh, a, a special CT scan. I don't know, I don't know what the name of it is, but it had contrast to it and it, um, it, t it, they tested um, like all of her vital organs, I mean, everything like liver and kidney and, um, you know, stomach and pancreas and, you know, all, all the organs, um, in her body and, um, nothing was showing, uh, any cancer. So that was really exceptional good news. So they are happy about that. So we needed to have that. And uh, then, you know, my sister is having additional testing as well. And I believe that is um, on Monday. So hopefully I can get you some updates later next week of what's going on there. So continued prayers and thoughts and all that is, uh, whoops, I forgot I didn't get a drill on that one. Oh, I didn't take off my... What am I doing? I've got another section I gotta take off. Cause I'm gonna work through here, but I'm also gonna work. Well, I guess I will finish that up there. Maybe I'm changing my mind. I was gonna move on to this section. Um, and I didn't even mention what I am doing either. Um, I'm continuing my um, painting of my Diamond Art Club War Pony um, by, what's her name? Lori Prindle. It's, it's a 22 by 28 or a 56 by 71 centimeter. So that is that. 
Um, we had a beautiful day yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was in the 70s. It was absolutely beautiful. Okay, now I am working on my little corner symbol. And it's a lighter tan. And I got a lot of these symbols. Well, I'll show that to you. It's these right there. It's a little bit lighter than what you're seeing just because it's so dark outside right now. And I don't have a lot of light. Um, and tomorrow, no, Saturday is our parade that we're going to have. And my granddaughter's marching, and I think I'd mentioned that before. So I'll be doing that. And um, I've been pulling some weeds in the yard a little bit because I've got so many weeds, so many dandelions. Spring is definitely here. Yard work's not my thing. I know that my, there's many of you guys that love yard work. And I don't know, I guess I just never really gotten into it. I mean, I don't mind planting flowers and stuff like that, but I don't really want to trim bushes or I don't want to mow the yard. But that's okay. Um, and speaking of outdoors, I have been trying to walk more, like about a half hour every day. I did miss yesterday. Um, but I'm going to try to get my walk in today um, on my lunch hour. Um, I'm trying to get some, some exercise and I'm trying to lose some weight. Um, I started using um, an app called Lose It. Uh, it's where you you know track your food and your exercise. And you can track um, all kinds of things, you know, your water intake. Um, it'll track your macronutrients if you, if you want. Um, I mean, you can plug in your weight and your height, um, your age, uh, your gender, so it can calculate what your caloric needs are to lose weight. And they have it set up to where, do you want to lose weight, you know, quickly? Do you want to lose weight, you know, slowly? Something in between? Um, where it will, would fit you, and um, I am choosing to lose weight slowly. So that's going to be about, you know, a half a pound to a pound a week, because that's really in a, a nice safe range. I don't want to lose weight quickly. Um, so I've got my calorie intake, and then I track my food, and you can... Um, you know, search for a food, like say you're gonna search for calories of a apple. And you can, I mean, it could be something as simple as it's, you know, one small apple, or you can also uh, track it by how many um, ounces it weighs. Um, if you're eating a packaged item of something, like say maybe you're eating some cottage cheese or something like that, you can scan the container and then put in your unit of measure, whether that's like a half a cup, whoops, dropped my pen, half a cup or, you know, something like that. And then it will keep track and it keeps track of your water. And I've, I've used these, this app before and liked it. So I'm gonna do that. And then, um, a gym membership too and it's I don't I can't remember if I told you guys or not I probably did um, it's for a gym designed for uh, people that are 50 and over and which is nice because you know I think I'd be pretty intimidated if I went into um, a regular gym and they've got people there that help you with everything and they come up with a, you know, a plan that you are going to work on for that month or that period of time, whatever that period of time is. 
Um, and they help people that are like rehabilitating after a surgery, um, you know, or whatnot. Pretty impressed with all these people too. So that's kind of fun. And uh, let's see. What else am I doing? I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. So my throat's a little bit, a little bit dry. Uh, I need a little bit of coffee to keep me going. I might have to microwave that a little bit. It's getting, it's getting a little cold. When I drink tea, I don't mind if it starts getting cold because it doesn't really matter for me with tea. <clears throat> I like, I like iced tea. I like hot tea. I think I am. I mean, do you guys drink tea? What's your favorite kind of tea? I like. I've got several teas that I like. I tend to like black tea probably better than like herbal. I love Earl Grey, um, regular black tea. Um, now I don't know if Starbucks still has this tea or not, but they used to come out at the holidays and it was called Joy. And it was a mixture of black tea and I think vanilla. And I really liked that one a lot. And the other one I love is Harney and Sons Paris Tea. That's a black tea as well. That's really, really yummy. Um, I like chai tea. Yeah, I like that. I like, um, I guess those are the main ones. Those are the main ones that I like. In coffee, you know, I drink a lot of decaf. I, yeah, primarily drink decaf. I might have one cup of regular caffeinated coffee. Uh, I don't drink a lot of soda. Um, if I do, I am Coke, not Pepsi. I mean, I'll drink Pepsi, but if I have a choice, I would rather have Coke. Um, I like Dr. Pepper and cream soda. I love cream soda. Or ginger ale. Not much of a 7-Up lover. That just reminds me of being sick. And mom would always give me tea or 7-Up when I was sick. Um, what other random factoids should we talk about? Have you guys gone over to my Facebook group, Diamonds by Tita? It's a lot of fun. We're, I think we have over 800 people now. And it's really active. So I'm happy about that. Everybody seems to have a lot of fun because it's getting so big in there. Um... People are very helpful if you ask questions about stuff. I think that is really awesome. It's turning into a really cool community. And um, boy, some of the paintings they are doing are amazing. And not just diamond painting, they do other crafts too. So you might want to hang out and go over there and see what's going on. Um, let's see. I'm almost, almost done with these. Check that out. Almost done. Yeah, I'm getting, um, I'm almost done with the painting. I, I've probably got, oh, I don't know. How many, these are little five by fives or yeah, four by four, four by four squares, um, in this pre-cut canvas. And I think. I think I'm going to turn that light off. I think that's going to be a little bit better. Um, it's a little bit bright for my eyes, and I really don't need it. Let me go ahead and just turn that off. Oh, that's better. That is a lot better on my eyeballs. Yeah, this canvas has been kind of nice. I don't have to have a light pad on. So um, so I won't. But yeah, I'm almost done. And I'm sorry, I, I, a 4 by 4 squares and I think I have uh, about 
eight squares or nine squares left. Not very many. Um, I'm going to end up with the horse's eye and face. That is going to be my last square. And I think I'm saving the best for last. Um, I got through all this confetti. Oh, all the confetti on the lower right-hand side. Wow, that was that was a lot of confetti. But it's still been a really fun painting to do. Um, just like Gypsy Violet. It's been a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. The drills are a pleasure. There's no... Um, I mean, not a lot of trash at all. I mean, very minimal. And I think we're going to switch colors. Oop. It's a little piece of plastic there I can pull back. Okay, we'll just switch colors. I think we'll go to the little equal sign. How about that? Yeah, I'm having, really having a lot of fun with this one. But Diamond Art Club is probably one of my favorites. I, I you know, I, I like doing the, the budget-friendly twos. I mean, they're inexpensive, they're quick, you know, they're, you know, they're usually smaller. Um, I enjoy them, but I really enjoy the premium kits too. Just because, again, the drills are, um, I'm looking for my equal sign. I can't. I can't find my equal sign. Where is that? Where are you? Waldo, where are you? Why can't I see you this morning? Oh, there you are. Found you. It's in uh, kind of a goldeny color. But yeah, there's just something about it. I mean, the, the canvas is so nice to work on. Drills are nice. I have fun with it. And I've got a lot of stuff um, coming too, as far as uh, some hauls that I will be doing. I've got quite a bit of Timu coming. I'll have a big Timu haul. And I've got a little bit more AliExpress coming. So that's going to be fun. And then... Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to looking forward to that. A few PR packs coming. Oh, this horse is so pretty. I'll I'll have to give you a, a progress on this as well. I'll give you a progress shot at some point in time. Um other than that, let's see. I did some meal prep cooking yesterday before I went to work. I've got enough chicken to last for a few days. And then um, I love uh, sauteed, you know, onions and um, bell peppers. And I usually have that with my chicken too. I like that. And uh, hard-boiled some eggs so I can have some eggs to eat for a quick snack. And I've got, I love uh, pieces of celery with uh, that laughing cow. Have you ever tried that laughing cow cheese? I really enjoy it. Um, laughing cow cheese is good on your sandwiches too. Okay. That was a random squirrel thought. Um, I don't think I'll be going thrifting this Saturday because of the parade. Because I know we're going to have to get there early for a good seat. But historically, historically it always rains on the parade. So I am praying we don't have rain because I really don't want to be out in the rain. Um, and it's kind of cool. I think the kids are going to like this. They replay the parade on TV, too, on one of our, you know, local channels. Uh, oops, I didn't pick up a drill that time. 
So I think she'll like to go and watch it afterward. So that's good. Um, what else is going on today? That's kind of about it. Um, just work. And, um, I really hope this weekend I can get a lot of diamond painting in. That's what I am hoping for. Because I've been able to do um, pretty good progress this week. But again, I only have probably, you know, maybe an hour or two a day. Depends upon how much filming I do. Sometimes if I do... If there's a lot of filming to do, I won't have time to diamond paint. That's what kind of, um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out a good schedule. Um, you know, I've been trying to post every day if I can, because I do, I like it. I like hanging out with you guys. Um, I like, I like the filming process. Um, but I'm probably going to end up taking at least, you know, one or two days a week off just so that I can concentrate on my crafts. Um, I haven't had a chance to do my cross stitching for the last couple nights either. I've just been so tired, you know, I, I don't know why, but I've been really, really tired and I've been going to bed earlier. Whoops, I didn't pick up a drill there either. This is coming along. Well, anyway, I'm about 21 minutes. Um, I can't make this too awfully long um, because I am about ready to get ready for work in a little bit. We're still, oh, dark 30. Sun will be up soon. I love, you know, I love the morning time. I'm a morning person. What are you guys? Are you morning, night owl? I I love the early mornings. Especially like in summer when it's, uh, it's, you know, cool out. You know, you can hear the birds starting to wake up. I love that. Oops, God, I'm not picking anything up. This pen's got wax in it. I didn't have nano tape in it. So I'm getting a little more wax. I've never really used any of the putties. Do you guys use putties? What do you use? Um, I mean, I tried putties once, but I don't know if I, and it was a long time ago, probably when I first started, and I don't know if I wasn't using it right, but I never could get it to work very well. So I, um, I never really used it. And I know there are people that, that love it, so if you're a putty user, let me let me know. Okay. There we go. Oops, got one more over there. No, oh, I got one more over there. I I always do this. Do you do that too? You always are missing. Oh, is that still sticky there? No, that's going over it. That's the only thing about these um, cover sheets. I can't always see the edges very well, so sometimes it's hard to tell when you get to the edge if you place the diamond there or not. That's all right. I think I'm gonna kit up another project too. I don't know, I've been itching to kit something else up because I've got so many pretty diamond paintings that I want to do. So I've got to figure out what I want to do. I do have a finish for um, a little off canvas one that didn't take me very long. Okay, what am I looking for? I am looking for the percent symbol, number 27. Got a couple of these, and 
We'll just go a few more minutes. Like I said, this is just going to be a short one. I hope I was able to keep you company for a little bit. And then after this, while this video gets uploading, um, I'm going to have to cook some breakfast. Um, I think I'm going to make some avocado toast. I love avocado toast. Oops. Um, yeah, I'll just make a, I use the Sara Lee Delightful Bread. Um, I use that and I'll have a half an avocado. And I don't know how I'm going to do my eggs. Sometimes I, I scramble them. Sometimes I do um, like soft boiled or sometimes I'll do over medium. I don't like, I don't like sunny side up. The, it's a little too runny for me, but I like over medium. And uh, so I'm going to make a little breakfast and then I have to head to work. So that's my morning today. And I don't know what I'm going to have for lunch. Oh, yes, I do. I'm having chicken. It's the, all the chicken that I cooked. Do not know what I'm going to have for dinner, though. Haven't gotten that far yet. I think it'll be a salad with something. I like salad with lots of veggies on it, like uh, broccoli and cauliflower and carrots and cucumbers and radishes. Um, I like a lot of veggies in it. And my favorite is ranch dressing. I, you know, I will, it's hard for me to use like Oh, I don't know, some of the lower calorie dressings, I just I just don't like them very well. If I'm gonna budget my calories, I will spend more and have uh, my ranch dressing. And it needs, and I, for me, this is just me, I prefer the homemade ranch. And if I can make it with the buttermilk, I will make it with the buttermilk. Otherwise I have the pre-mixed kind. I mean, they come in the packets. Um, of the regular kind too. I can do that. And I can't give up my half and half either. I have to have half and half of my coffee. So I splurge on my calories there too. So there's a few things that I splurge on that I just, I, I just don't want to give up. And I don't think you have to. I mean, for me, I, I, I've got to have the mindset that, you know, it's not a diet, it's eating healthy um, and making good choices. Um, not doing the fast food. Oh, I missed one of those. I always miss stuff. Okay, there's that one. Well, we will do the little, uh, the little cross lines there and a little slash line or whatever we want to call it. And then we'll just call this one a day. How about that? And then I will get the rest of my day going. And you guys can get the rest of your day going. Just finish these up a little bit. Hope I got a drill over there. I drilled, I always drop drills. Yeah, it's funny when I sweep under you know, my tables were a diamond paint. There's always so many drills. Sure glad the companies give us, you know, extra drills. Because I always have a few on the floor. Okay, we're almost done here. One more. We go I was able to work on that section a little bit with you guys today so um, I'm almost at about 30 minutes so I'm going to just uh, call it a day for right now I'll put these drills back I hope you have a great rest of your day or evening you know whatever time zone you are in while you're watching this I know I didn't talk about a whole heck of a lot again my random squirrel thoughts um, but gave you something to listen to while you're diamond painting or crocheting or cleaning or whatever you guys are doing. 
Yeah, have a fabulous day. Um, yeah, do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. Um, you know, even if you can't, you know, get out and walk, a lot of us have mobility issues, you know. Um, see if you can go sit outside and breathe some nice fresh air. Um, that'll be that'll be nice. You know, if you can, you know, move a little bit, you know, do a little bit of exercise. Um, I did find, oh, random squirrel thought, here I go again. Um, I found some uh, exercises you can do in, you know, in a chair. They've modified exercises um, that you can do in your chair or chair yoga or some stretching, you know, while you're sitting in a chair. Um, so see if you can find something good for your body. Move your body a little bit if you can. Um, and uh, remember, you're perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. Um, and neither does your projects. Remember that your projects don't have to be perfect. So many of us stress over, oh my gosh, my drill's not totally straight or you know, oh my gosh, I made a mistake on my cross stitch or, you know, something like that. Nobody's going to notice it um, except you. Because when you look at the whole picture, you're not going to see that little teeny mistake. So you don't have to be perfect. And just know, you know, I think about you guys often. You guys are in my prayers and my thoughts. I so greatly appreciate each and every one of you. You are absolutely fabulous. Um, you know, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. You know, I'm getting really close to 3,000 subscribers, which still blows my mind. So I thank each and every one of you that subscribe and that watch my videos. Um, I'm so grateful for, for all of you. Okay, everybody, you take care, and um, I will talk to you on the next one. I'll have more content coming soon. Bye-bye, okay, everybody. Hey, everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me.